level called one, two, three, <laughs> which happens to be the drawing that you did in the beginning. Now this is what Jung and other people call it, the language of synchronicity, capital S, happened when everything aligned and want to happen, like, was this planned? Synchronicity, the plan, because it only exists in the moment. So everything we're talking about is demonstrable in one day here. The three spheres we just talked about. But now I want to talk about your process because I didn't tell you anything to draw. I just said, let's have silence and let's draw and do art together now to see how to cultivate this, which is in the silence and the creation. So tell me now a little bit about your story, because you're the first student, so to speak, of this question, because you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> um, we were talking about three rings, and uh, this uh, information impressed me, and I just said and drew, drew uh, three rings, okay. and... Um, this leaves, but it's not finished yet. It's never finished, believe me. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. It's just a process of a kind of a page of the day, but like I said, sometimes a piece may take a week. Um, you know, but uh, like I said, it's, it's a process. It's the process of discovering. What are you discovering when you're working? Do you find it to be still inside? Mm, yes. So you have your still center when you're creating. There's a still center that you're accessing. And then there's this. So there's the focus. So it's a complete circle when people create by hand. Mm -hmm. All the facilities of the body and the soul because the heart in view, everything. So, you. So tell me more. You've got three words. And these words, by the way, in our language school will be in Russian. Your next work is to make everything Russian-English so we have a language tool so people can understand these basic words, each one holding a key mm -hmm. in the mystery, please. Okay. I wrote... Uh three words first okay. of all uh, like you told me that three uh, rings symbolize mother father and child nice. and then i thought uh, something uh, i wanted to add something and i thought that it will be the word home because if mother and father and child together mm -hmm. they feel like home. Oh, God. <laughs> Such basic stuff, but it <laughs> touches me. <laughs> wow. Well, I love this too because these are the lines of force. I call them the lines of force. They're energy lines and they're never straight. I mean, maybe straight if you're seeing from a very long distance away, but they're wavy all the way. They're like serpent energy form. It's always moving. And this energy, always moving. Always but, flowing. Right. Mm -hmm. But you got it. The still center, you're in meditation when you do art. It's the highest form of meditation because it builds the expressive creative expression of the soul and teach you to be still inside and not be going a million miles a minute with everybody else out there. <laughs> so I am most honored. I literally only now begin. I understand that this field wants to be replicated and shared and built as a new way because it touches wherever it goes and this is the alchemist thing the panacea that I have discovered by marriage with him 
the sun and the moon in my own principles, I can complete that. How does it externalize here? And the thing but in my journey is, I came back to the home. And then to a sense of family and belonging as an elder. Where do I belong? I live in a, I live in a homolio somewhere in a cave deciphering information. <laughs> But I'm so glad you're here, and I'm really excited with the next page. Or should we do, should we go, let's go through all four pages. This is the book of knowledge, this is the book of life. And these larger books are called the books of knowledge, the textbooks. And now, whoever's in the school, have their own story in the book. It's miraculous, because it's a universal language. It doesn't come from a personal self. It comes through the personal self when it's focused on it's not its terrible story <laughs> of its past and all of all the things we think we've done wrong. So, enough talking, I'm dialing you too much. But oh, This was your first one, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me from your lips. <laughs> so, uh, the first one I was inspired to because uh, we talked and after that I went uh, to the small garden <laughs> no. and just uh, drew what I felt no. inside me. It is connected with Egypt because we are in Egypt now. Nice. So, yeah. And then the dark eye, and I'm aware we're going to do seven to ten minutes, so just be aware of your counter. We can stop and start again.